Welp, it's that time of year again. The Game Awards are streaming live in a few days, and we have to pretend to care. But at the very least, to make things more interesting, I think I should probably add my two cents into what they're going to be showing off in this year's Game Awards. I am going to make one thing clear, though. I'm only a Nintendo and Sega gamer, meaning I don't play... I mean, I do, kind of, but I barely play PlayStation and Xbox games. So I don't know if my opinions are going to really, you know, benefit off of anything, but... I'll do the best I can to at least have you guys be somewhat entertained. But yeah, can't wait to hear Jeff Keighley pretend to care about games that he probably doesn't even know anything about. <laughs> Alright, so now let's get started. And of course, the first we have is Game of the Year. Even though we literally just started, they're already going for the meat. They're go going for the main meal, I see. Alright, so we have Alan Wake 2, Baldur's Gate 3, that crap that apparently people think is a uh, game of the year worthy, that's going to be instant game of the year, but no, I don't think it could be. Resident Evil 4, the best game in history, and another overrated game. So, yeah, like I said, I only play Nintendo and Sega games, because those are honestly the better video game brands and companies. I know Sega has its flaws, but eh, they're more iconic. And so is Nintendo as well, of course, obviously. But yeah, I have not played these four games. I've played these two on the bottom, but these four games on the top and middle, I have not played. Because yeah, I haven't played Spider Mid 2 because yeah, I don't have a PS5, nor do I want to own one because <laughs> I don't see any value in it whatsoever. No, it's not that I'm poor. Well, not just that I'm poor, but I just don't really see any reason to actually want to wanting to get a PS5. Because for one, there's really not any games out there that really interest me into wanting to get one for like my birthday or Christmas. But yeah, just eh. If I had to choose, I'd probably go with like either Xbox Series X, because yeah, at least it has Unleashed HD or unleashed in the most highest quality possible. But yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go with Mario Bros. Wonder. I mean, I know it's very unlikely that it, it'll win, but might as well try and at least help it, at the very least. Alright, let's see what we have next. Best Game Direction. <laughs> oh wow, we have spider Mid 2, Super Mario Bros. Wonder, and Tears of the Kingdom again. So yeah, I'm Definitely not voting for Spider Mid, I'll tell you that right now. Or these two games, which I have no idea about. <laughs> and, eh, I'm not gonna vote for Tears of the Kingdom either, because I think that game is, at the very least, overrated. I mean, yeah, it's, it's a great game, I guess, but is it really game of the year worthy? I mean, I guess so, but I haven't beaten it, and I don't think I'm even close to beating it. Don't know if I ever will beat the game, but yeah, whatever. I don't see myself beating the game, or at, least, at the very least, like, caring for it as much as other people do. Well, best game in history, looks like I'm going for you again. Best narrative. Well, it was only a matter of time before I ran into a category of games that I've never played or even heard of. I mean, the only reason why I've heard of games like Spider-Man 2 and Alan Wake 2 is because people won't shut up about them. And here come a shit ton of people that'll yell at me saying, oh, you have poor taste in gaming if you've never played any of these games. Uh, yeah, I'm wise with my money. I know what I should buy and play. So, yeah, if I don't play these games, it's for a good reason. So, I don't want to go for the basic route and vote for Spider-Man 2. So, mm, 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 I guess I'll go with Alan Wake 2, because I've been hearing, you know, I've, I've been hearing a lot of people talk about this game, but I don't know what I think of it overall, but I'd rather choose any of these than this damn thing. So, yep, Alan Wake 2, you have my vote. Best art direction, huh? Oh, we got the best game in history again. 
And we also got Hi-Fi Rush. This I actually heard of. I think it actually looks pretty cool for the art style alone. All I'm hoping is for Super Mario Bros. Wonder to actually win something. So I'm just, every time I see it, I'm going to seize the opportunity because I want this game to win something. Best score in music. Well, it's already kind of weird how we're not seeing Frontiers or Superstars on here. But really, Wonder and Tears of the Kingdom, which is a soundtrack I've barely had the time to listen to. I mean, why isn't Wonder on here? Because I mean, have y'all heard the overworld theme, the desert theme, and the factory theme? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm gonna have to go with Hi-Fi Rush, because, yeah, I've heard the soundtrack, actually, and it's quite decent. Uh, best audio design? Uh, did we not just do this one? Like, was the previous one we did not just also describing, like, which one had the best OST? And once again, Superstars and Wonder are left out, even though I think those two games have spectacular OSTs. Oh wait, this one is for recognizing the best in-game audio and sound design? Why should any video game receive an award for this? Why? You're receiving an award just for producing sounds? Uh, yeah. It'd be like you won an award for farting, which is basically something that anyone can do. I'm sure anyone can produce sounds. Bro, is Spider-Man 2 going to be in every category? Because I feel like for every category we've seen so far, this game has been in every single one of them. Same with like Tears of the Kingdom. Are they really just forcing me to play Spider-Man 2, even though I don't want to buy a PS5 just to play this game? I mean, for some reason they only decided to bring Unleashed to Xbox Series X and not PS5, so that's probably the only reason why I would go for the Series X. But yeah, I just don't see any reason to play Spider-Man 2. I'm just, I mean, I like Spider-Man, but I don't want to play this game simply because other people are doing the same thing. I don't want to... I want to have my own opinion, which is, I don't want to play this game simply because people are telling me to, and, oh, because, oh, it's a great game, or whatever. And I don't, I've never played these two games, or this one. So, yep, Hi-Fi Rush, you have my vote again. Best performance? Ugh, this should be interesting. <gasps> oh my god, it's him! It's him! <laughs> It's him! It's him! It's Nelly Newborn! No, just kidding. It's Idris Elba! Knock knock, it's Knuckles! So yeah, I know it's obviously not for his performance as Knuckles, but... Yeah, I feel I'm just gonna have to vote for him, simply because I think he was probably one of my new favorite Knuckles VAs. And of course, Spider-Man 2 is still involved. But yeah, screw you Spider-Man 2, I'm going for Idris. Innovation in accessibility? What the fuck does that even mean? Recognizing software and or hardware that is pushing the medium forward by adding features, technology, and content to help games be played and enjoyed by an even wider audience. Bro, take a shot every time Spider-Man 2 shows up in one of these. Okay, okay, well, we've got some games that I have acknowledged before, but haven't played. We got Mortal Kombat, Forza Motorsport, and Diablo 4. Okay, I'll be nice because I heard Mortal Kombat is pretty good. I mean, this game, at the very least, I heard it was pretty good. Games for Impact, for a thought-provoking game with a pro-social meaning or message. Uh, is it a bad time to say that I've heard of none of these games? Uh, yeah, I guess I'm just gonna go for the one that I think has the best art style. Um, Venba, this looks like something my little cousin would draw. But, yeah, I mean, I, I think I'm gonna go for a space for the Unbound, or maybe Goodbye Volcano High. I mean, yeah, I, like I said, I haven't heard of any of these, but I think I'll just go for the one that has the best art style, in my opinion. So, um, I guess... Uh, mm, I mean, Goodbye Volcano High kind of reminds me of regular show a little bit. I don't know why, but it just does. But, yeah, I guess I'll go for this one. I don't know what it is, but I think it looks cool. Best Ongoing. Okay. <laughs> Th 
This game came out in 2020. Come on. And this game, and you, you couldn't find room for Frontiers, but you found room for one of the worst games ever. And I'm honestly shocked that Fortnite is still getting love and praise, even though this game looks like utter shit to me at least. Well, I'm obviously not voting for Genshit Mid-Pact, I'll tell you that much. But, and definitely not for Apex Legends, or Midnight. Huh, get it? Midnight? Did you get it? Did you get it? Laugh, I say! I'll gladly vote for Final Fantasy or Cyberpunk, because I refuse to choose any of these three options. So, eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Best Community Support. Recognizing a game for outstanding community support, transparency, and responsiveness. Inclusive of social media activity and game updates and patches. Okay, well, where's Sonic Frontiers? But yeah, I feel like we're getting the same games for every category. And there's really no variety whatsoever. But I mean, I've heard some good stuff about most of the games on this list, but yeah, like I said, I haven't played any of them. Um, I guess Final Fantasy, just for cloud's sake. Best Independent Game. Ah, oh, great, another category of games I've never heard of. Lovely. I mean, I think I might have heard of Dave the Diver, because I think it was brought up in a Nintendo Direct, if I remember correctly. But, yeah, I'm not gonna vote for it just because I, I saw it in a, in a Nintendo Direct. But, um, hmm. Ian, I like the art style for this one, Sea of the Stars, so yeah, I guess I'll go with this one. Best debut indie game. <laughs> of course, it was only a matter of time before this game showed up. Again, it's just one of those things where I just go with my instincts, so yeah, Pizza Tower it is. Even though I haven't played the game, but I know some things about it. I guess I'll try it out eventually, but not anytime soon. <laughs> Best mobile game? Wait, you mean to tell me people actually play mobile games still in the year 2023? <laughs> Hello Kitty, really? Well, that's a name I haven't heard since, like, the 2000s. Oh, Monster Hunter. Okay, well, that's interesting. But, uh... Yeah, I don't think I really care for any of these other games. So, I guess I'll go with Monster Hunter. Best VR slash AR? Uh, yeah, if you put a virtual reality device in my hand, I'm gonna throw it on the ground. That should go without saying. I wish there was a skip option, because yeah, most of the games here I have not played or heard of for the most part. I mean... <laughs> It's already shocking that people actually care this much for VR games, because I figured they just were like little side things that only like a handful of people would actually play. But no, it turns out it's great enough to the point where it deserves to have its own nominee rating at the freaking Game Awards. I guess I'm just gonna go for Resident Evil, since I actually played Resident Evil 2 back in the day. It was like the only Resident Evil game I played and probably the only time I'll ever play one of them. Best action game, and Frontiers is once again nowhere to be seen, despite having some of the best boss battles in Sonic history. But yeah, I guess we're going for a Hi-Fi Rush again, despite me not playing the game, but I know some stuff about it, and I think it looks pretty cool. Best action slash adventure, and I see we have Spider Mid 2 again, and Tears of the Kingdom. I mean, I, I did play the game, but I haven't gotten anywhere. Oh crap, I think they heard me calling Spider-Man 2 mid. They're coming for me. <laughs> no! But yeah, I guess I'll have to go with Tears of the Kingdom. Because at least I had some fun with the game, but I had no idea what I was doing for the most part. Best RPG? Well, where's Super Mario RPG? Or Mario plus Rabbit Sparks of Hope? Lies of P? I'm going with this one just for the name alone. <laughs> Don't ask. Best fighting game. Oh my god, here we go. I did not expect to see All-Star Brawl 2 on here, but... 
eh, I, I guess I should have seen it coming. I mean, there, there was no, I don't know what I was thinking, like, you know, expecting Smash Bros. Ultimate, but yeah, we got Nick All-Star Brawl 2, even though I haven't played the game. I'm still debating whether to play it or not. I mean, as much as I love Nickelodeon, I just didn't really find the first game all that interesting. I mean, I wanted to love it, but something about it just didn't really <laughs> sit right with me. But yeah, if anyone out there has played All-Star Brawl 2, let me know if it's any good or not, and just let me know if I should pick it up. But yeah, I guess I will have to vote for it since it's like the, I mean, if I had to have the choice of playing any of these fighting games, and for some reason Ult Ultimate not being on here, I would go for All-Star Brawl 2, because it's actually a franchise of characters I actually, you know, care for. But yeah, I guess I'll give the support to All-Star Brawl 2. Because, yep, because Spongebob's on it. <laughs> and Garfield. Best family game. Okay, well, we got Mickey and... Oh, shoot. Okay, we got some good ones. We got some good ones, finally. And so we got Pikmin 4, Sonic Superstars, and Wonder. So, uh, which one am I going to give the vote to? Well, I'm kind of debating whether to give it to Superstars or Wonder. I mean... I haven't played Pikmin 4, nor do I want to, but, yeah, I mean, I, 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 I wanted to like Superstars, but the game just feels way too difficult. I mean, especially during the ending, but, yeah, I mean, I, the game was alright, I guess, but, I don't know, I, I think I'm just gonna go with Wonder. I mean, yeah, Wonder is just the better 2D game. Sorry, Sonic, I mean, I, I'm hoping... Superstars at least gets a certain amount of votes because I know there's like several people out there who actually enjoyed the game But yeah going for wonder because I think it's just the better game. I mean you can't deny it I hope wonder at least gets one award for something I mean with the amount of times we saw wonder in these categories. It has to at least win something There's no way it can't win any award Honestly, I just want to know how much we have left because yeah for the most part these this is just filled with games that I haven't played nor care for you got best sim slash strategy. And I'm not voting for Fire Emblem, because I actually hate that series. But Pikmin 4 and Advance Wars 1 plus 2 Reboot Camp. But, yeah, I mean, Pikmin 4, I guess? I mean, like I said, I haven't played it, but heard good stuff about it. I mean, I used to be a Pikmin fan, but not anymore. I don't know why I decided to be a fan, but, eh. I guess I'll go with Advance Wars, because I actually did play that. Best Sports Slash Racing. Well, where's Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? I mean, we had the Booster Course Pass DLC, so why isn't that on here? But yeah, I hate sports in general, so yeah. And I guess I'll go with Hot Wheels, specifically because it has the word UNLEASHED in it. Best Multiplayer, sponsored by Discord. Oh god, well... Yep, was expecting Wonder to show up. So yeah, Discord sponsored this one just to put Wonder in Wonder on the list, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yep, y'all know the drill at this point. When I see Mario, I click. Best adaptation. Okay, well. Okay, here we go. We're getting some good stuff now. So yeah, I mean, as much as people will say it has a lack of story, that's kind of the point. Mario's known for the lack of story, but at the end of the day. We still praise the living hell out of this franchise, even though, you know, the drill at this point. But, yeah. I mean, it doesn't help that Mario Bros. The Mario movie is, like, the only one I've seen out of these five. So, yeah. Obvi I mean, what else am I going to choose? It'd be, it'd be a crime if I didn't choose the Mario movie. Most anticipated game. Well, are we going to see Tears of the Kingdom? Nope, doesn't look like it. I mean, we got Tekken and uh, Final Fantasy. And I I don't care for Star Wars, and I never will. And I've never heard of Like a Dragon or Hades. So, yeah, I mean, I used to play Tekken, so I guess we'll go with Tekken. And more specifically because Kazuya is in Smash. Content Creator of the Year? <laughs> Honest to God, I want to skip this one, but I feel I should give my opinion either way. <laughs> this one's just making me laugh. People make games. 
No shit, people make games. Who else would make games? I guess I'll go with people make games just for the name and just the way it looks alone. I mean, it's just basic letters on the screen. <laughs> All right, so I skipped like three because yeah, they were just filled with stuff that I don't even know about. Like best esports or whatever. I mean, yeah, obviously I'm not gonna care, but yeah, I guess we'll just since this is the last one, might as well add my two cents as usual. So uh, we got League of Legends. Okay, well that kind of catches my eye a little bit. And Evo 2023. I think I'm gonna go with that one specifically because of the Smash Bros. Evo tournaments. But yeah, what else am I gonna choose? I have to go with Evo. All right, well, that was the last one. Kind of anticlimactic. So, yeah, seems like this year is just going to be the same shit as usual. A bunch of games that I'm not going to care for, with only, like, a handful of games that I do care for. Like, Wonder, Tears of the Kingdom, a little bit, Superstars, and Pikmin 4. And, you know, like, I mean, the best adaptation one kind of caught me off guard, because I honestly wasn't expecting it, but... I mean, I should have been, but part of me wasn't for some reason. And of course, as usual, Sonic gets little to no representation at all in these game awards. I mean, the only time he really showed up was like for best family game. And yeah, even then I decided not to vote because I didn't like Superstars as much as I wanted to. Same reasons for why I didn't buy Nickelodeon All-Star Brawl 2 on launch. But yeah, seems like this year it's just same as same stuff as usual. Nothing special we should really care for that much. But yeah, it's the Game Awards, and I would I only the only reason why I still watch these is just to see if there's any like cool announcements or something. Like maybe, you know, for Sonic or, you know, Mario or something. But I'm at least hoping Mario Bros. Wonder wins some award. It has to, because it's it showed up like several times in these categories, so it has to win for something. And yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Tears of the Kingdom won for a few. Something tells me that we had way more games this year, but I feel like we've only seen like a handful of most of the games we've seen this year. Frontiers didn't show up despite it having, you know, like the three updates, obviously. And I just wanted to try something new for the channel, just to give my thoughts on the Game Awards and just like the voting overall, but yeah, this was just not really that interesting to me at least. I mean, I'm sure some of you enjoyed it just to hear like my smack talk or whatever, but yeah, this was pretty lame for the most part. I mean, I did enjoy voting for Wonder several times and anything Mario related and of course for All-Star Brawl 2. But, yeah, this year just was meh. But the amount of times I saw Spider Mid 2 show up made me want to punch a wall. Because that game is just the most overrated a game can possibly get. Can you imagine if Thousand Year Door got Game of the Year next year because of, you know, the remake and just how much of a huge game it seems to be? Well, at the very least, we didn't see Just Dance, which is always a good thing, because just Dance will never win for anything. It'll win for one of the most stupidest games to ever exist. I'll say that. But yep, guess that'll do for now. So thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.